Timu, you may have been just as curious as I was. I've been really wondering what the stuff is like from this website. So when they did reach out to partner up, I kind of couldn't resist. I made sure that if I was going to partner with them, I could give my honest review and feedback on everything. And that's exactly what we are here to do today. Thank you so much to Timu for sponsoring today's video. A couple quick things about Timu. So there's a million things on the site and I actually wanted to encourage you guys, I have the best experience on the app. So I downloaded the app. It's a super user-friendly app. Everything from like clothing to household items, jewelry, really kind of anything that you can find on there. They're definitely the most known for having that big variety along with very low prices, as I'm sure what you've heard is all the buzz is about, as well as really good coupons. And speaking of coupons, I do have a discount code for you guys to get an additional percentage off if you decide to grab something from the site. And I'm going to leave that in the pinned comment down below the video, so check for that comment. And if you have been curious about trying them out, I do wanna let you know that there is free shipping and free returns up to 90 days. So I feel like that is helpful. So thank you for that, Timu. So I'm really excited to share with you guys what I got. As always, I am putting together some outfits for you, but this video is kind of all over the place in terms of clothing, shoes, accessories, sunglasses, all that kind of stuff. So let's get into it. So why don't we start with what I'm wearing here today as host Jen. This is a cat suit, which I love me some cat suits. I found that the bottoms to this one run a little bit long for me. And so I'm 5'6 as a reference. And I found this one to be true to size. In terms of the quality, it's exactly what I would expect. I mean, I am not disappointed in any way with the quality of this one. I haven't washed it yet or anything like that. The fabric is very soft, really kind of hugs my curves all where I want it to. So uh, this this one's a win for me. Next, let's do this bomber style jacket or var varsity jacket. Yeah, this is more like a vars varsity bomber jacket, whatever it is, it's good. I really like this. I have been trying to get a jacket like this for quite some time now, and I've returned several of them because they arrive from other retailers that shall remain nameless, I guess. And I've really kind of been like, mm. So this one, I would say it's a solid quality. I mean, is it the nicest thing I've ever tried on? It's not, but it's really solid, and I'm not disappointed with it in any way, really. I like the A there, which stands for awesome, of course. I mean, naturally. And I would say it's fitting exactly like I would want it to and how I thought it would in this size. So this was another win. They're not all wins, but this was another win. <laughs> Let's kick it into a couple accessories. I mean, it's like summertime at this point, right? I really like these sunglasses. These feel like fine quality. I'd say they feel like average quality. I really like the bigger frame, the fact that it's square. These I wanted to point out feel not so great quality. I feel like these are probably gonna break at some point. I'll wear them because they're cute. I like that they're sort of an ivory. The lens is sort of an ombre blue to pink. So I kind of like that, but these, Whew, these are not the best. Pardon the interruption, it's just me, host Jen. I just wanted to welcome you in to the video. If you do happen to be new here, then welcome to my channel. And if you are not new, then welcome back. My channel is all about helping you be your most confident self through style and fashion fashion. So if you're interested in getting lots of fun outfit ideas, because that is mainly what we do on this channel from somebody who has multiple styles, a disorder, then consider hitting that subscribe button. But only subscribe if you're awesome. If you're not awesome, it might be awkward because we're all awesome and we want you to fit in. Does that make sense? Okay. <laughs> I also like to warn folks that I am a little bit goofy. It just kind of comes with the territory. And I wanted to let you know that everything will be listed and linked down in the description box box below the video. If you don't know how to get to the description box, just click the title of the video underneath the video, which opens up a box, click more, and then that will give you access to all the links. If you do decide to use my links, I cannot thank you enough as that is a way to support my channel. Let's keep going with the video. So let's talk about this little bag right here. I am very impressed by this bag. Actually, I feel like the quality seems very nice. It's like 
thick. The zipper seems really good. For me, it's smaller than I was expecting. You know, even this little detail out front here. And I really like the guitar strap style. And I actually like that the back of it has something on it as well. You can unclip the strap if you would prefer. It's kind of what it's looking like on me, if that's helpful. For me, it's very borderline. Kind of thought it would be like a couple inches bigger. I don't know, my perception I think was off. This right here, do you see all that? That's all stitching. This is a really nice bag. I just a little wide for it. I just a little wide for this bag, but it is really cute. These sandals are, I'm looking in the lens finder, they're sort of coming across orangey, but I would say in real life, they are more of like a marigold yellow, very rich golden yellow. I would say that these feel okay quality. I mean, you can see here, it's not the worst I've seen in terms of that. This is very thin. I think these actually be cute for the beach. I feel like these are kind of a one summer sandal. These are not gonna take you through probably more than one summer. I think we all have sandals like that. I'm sure you know what I mean. So for that reason, I think they'd actually be a cute alternative to wear to the beach because we all know sand seems like it ruins everything. And since I don't think these would last beyond a summer anyway, I think they might be a good alternative to a flip-flop to wear to the beach. I think that's what I'm gonna do with these. They do run true to size. So check out this bracelet. It has the adjustability like that in the back. I'm very impressed by this. This is heavy. I mean, it's not like weirdly heavy, but way heavier than you'd think. This construction here feels very nice. Sometimes that doesn't feel so nice. I love the colors for the summer. It look really cute stacked with other bracelets by itself or even with a watch. I want to do these sunglasses next because I have them in two different colors. But I wanted to show you guys some of the sunglasses came in sort of this nicer case like that. It zips really nicely. It even has a little uh, hand handle. <laughs> Strap, it's a strap, Jen. It even comes, you know, with one of these little doohickeys there. I don't know, I just kind of wasn't expecting them to come in a case that's nice like this, and this is kind of a harder case. They don't all, but I thought that was kind of a nice touch, especially for a gift. I got these in blue and purple because I just wasn't really sure if I would like glasses like this or not, and I didn't want an expensive option in the event that I didn't like them. These feel like the nicest glasses that we've tried so far in terms of they don't feel like they're about to break on me. They feel like they would last more than a singular summer. The plastic is thick. I'm just gonna run through some of these bracelets really quick. So I feel like these are super cute. Very pleased with the quality of those right there. I love the veining detail that you can see on that one. And I feel like that one fits really well. Little sparkles in between, which I thought was a nice touch. All of these kind of little seed bead ones, I think would be so cute to stack with other bracelets. This one with the Heshi beads, I don't really have anything that's this color. Like a lot of the ones that I have like that are a little bit more, probably like the colors of the rainbow or more like neon colors. So I thought this was like a little bit more maybe neutral, even though it's colorful, if that makes sense. I don't know. I was pretty impressed with the bracelets actually. <laughs> we are about halfway through this video. So please give the video a like if you are digging it so far. That really helps out me and my channel and I appreciate it. Us so, so much. I specifically wanted this one to wear as an anklet. I mean, usually anklets for me are a one season gig as well. This one feels a little bit cheaper to me. I'm not really sure what about it. Maybe it's the gold on the palm tree for me. I think is actually super cute. It's a turquoise anklet set as well. And we've got stars and there's a little charm there. It's silver versus gold. This one I think seems nice quality. I really liked this headband, the bandana e style more of like an olive green color. Really like that color. I think would look super cute either to when I'm like doing my makeup or whatever, or also to obviously wear as a headband to look cute with an outfit. These are pretty much like, I think they were the first ones, um, but in black, so vibey. I like it with this outfit, actually. These are average quality, just like the first ones, I'd say. This sweater here, I was very impressed by the quality. It's thick. I know we're really not in that season right now. Very soft, it's not itchy. I love the print, but you know what really got me on this one? Where the pockets are, something sticks out right there and it makes me look way worse. <laughs> Don't think it's a flattering fit. 
I don't know if you can kind of tell. I feel like I'd almost need to cut the pockets out, but then you don't have the pockets. Now, I remember on the website, they showed this with someone wearing shorts, which I think is actually what attracted me to getting it because I'm like, that looks super cute with jean shorts. However, I do really like it. And I think I'm gonna keep it for around the house as a robe alternative. Cause it is cute and it makes me happy. And I probably don't feel as frumpy as wearing a robe. It's gonna kind of almost be like a house jacket for me. But this one was a fail in terms of if you're shaped anything like me, I would say it's a no-go because it's going to stick out the farthest where our hips are. No. I really like this t-shirt here. This one runs true to size. I'm bummed because I actually did do a look with this one and this. This was probably my favorite thing throughout the haul and I totally forgot to get footage of it. I did wear these together. I'll put this one on for you right now. One of the things I really liked about this one is I just loved the way that it draped. I liked the buttons there and I liked that it was a little bit more of a high-low situation so I feel like I could wear it with leggings and it would be really cute and I just thought the fit like if we're comparing it to the last one a heck of a lot more flattering goes another couple inches down below the bottom of my butt I really like this one I like that it has a hood this one was a huge win for me it might be my favorite thing in the whole haul I think it was actually I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure but yeah these two together super cute all right this is the last one before we get into the pieces of clothing that I did style and I was saving until the end. This one really disappointed me. I feel like the actual print is beautiful. I love that. I love the colors. I'm hoping you can see how vibrant they are. It's so pretty. And this is stitching. So do note that. So that part of it is nice. I feel like this strap is a glorified ribbon. I mean, it is a little thicker than a ribbon. So that's not the vibe for me. And I think just the material that was used for the black part of it, because again, this does feel like nicer quality. If this this was on a different purse casing or whatever this outer part is called with a different strap. This thing would have a totally separate feel to it. It's kind of bummed by this one because I thought that the print was so beautiful. So pass for me. This was another favorite find for me that I did style. So I love the lightning bolt. I have a little bit of a more edgy style and I love that it had the leopard print or as I like to say, leopard on this channel. The fabric is very soft, sort of like a dressier t-shirt. It doesn't feel like one of those men's t-shirts that you're just wearing as a graphic tee. And I'm loving this kind of grazy light taupe color, a really good transitional color that you can just go a lot of different directions with. And I really like the look that I had put together, which also included this bag. Love that it says mood. Love that it's also kind of that taupey, grayish, whatever we wanna call that. This bag for me was in the middle. So if the first bag that I showed you, that was definitely the highest quality. The last one I just showed you is the lowest quality. I would say this one is somewhere in the middle. It was a really good price. So I would say it's a fine quality for the price. Definitely more of that canvasy style feel. I'm happy with it for the price. How about that? And last but not least, or maybe least, I don't know, you can tell me. These two sweatshirt looks that I did, these were one of my favorite pieces from the haul in terms of what they look like. However, I have to say the sweatshirt material on both of these feels like that cheaper sweatshirt material, if you guys know what I'm talking about. It's very soft, so I'll give it that. It's not itchy. Sweatshirts like this, I probably don't wanna spend a ton of money on anyway. This is screen printed, so do note that it's not stitched or anything. I like that it was crew neck. I feel like it fit true to size, but it does feel like that cheaper sweatshirt material. This one is maybe slightly elevated from this last one. Still kind of the same thing though. This is in an extra large. I feel like this also fit true to size for me. I like that this is more of an ivory on a true chocolate brown. And I really liked the look of this with the little dicky that I wore it with. It is also soft. I mean, so I'll give it that. All right, there we have it. Let me know what you thought. I would love to hear what your favorite item was or favorite outfit was. Definitely let me know that down in the comments below. And I would also love to hear down in the comments below, have you tried Timu yet? This was my first time, so I would be really curious to know what you have found on the site that you've particularly liked. Let us all know that down in the comments. I wanna thank Timu once again for partnering with me on today's video. And a big thank you to you guys in the community who support and watch my videos, which allow allows me to work with brands through sponsorship. So I can never thank you enough for that. If you stayed all the way to the end of this video, I can't thank you enough for that. So please leave me a heart emoji or the secret video word of mood.
Don't forget to subscribe if you're awesome, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!